Hello everybody, welcome back to how to build a B1 bomber and I wanted to show you guys my molds I have finished. I got the back half, take her on this side and show you what's up. I got the half of my back done and uh, I took my wood out. I'm done with this piece. I pulled it out and chucked it aside. I'm done with it. I just saved my dots for the next side. And uh, I took that one over there and flopped it around. Had to put another piece of Formica on this side. But it was pretty close and got me a piece on there. And I told you guys I didn't use uh, clay. I know what you was thinking. Well, he's got to use something. What did he use? Bam! The old hot glue gun. That works pretty good. What I did, so once I got these pieces where I want them, I put me a little shelf. So I can kind of slide these in and out. I drew me a line there. I pulled my board back out and put me a piece of tape about an eighth inch under that line. So most of my hot glue actually sticks to the tape. And then I pull it out and you really got to get a lot of hot glue on there. You got to go on just and go fast. You lay it on your shelf, slide it right in place and watch it ooze out the top. Then you just take your razor blade lay it flat and trim it off. Works pretty good. Works a lot better than clay. Then you take your hot glue gun under here and just really glue it up good because you do not want that moving once you start. Now I've got my front done. The front top and it came out pretty good too. Got me a nice corner all the way around. And uh, started my parting planes on my side. But I gotta get my back done first. So I'm gonna get that all ready. And I got me some more surface and agent on the way. That is a calcium carbonate that I mixed with my epoxy. And uh how to get it in these corners real neat. Let me show you what I use. Take me an old magazine. This is a good way to get rid of your old magazines first. Take your piece of tape, put it on that page. Lay it down, sticky side up. You put your epoxy right there in the center. Fold that over and kind of roll it up, get your cone shape. And then uh, fold that tape down, that end down, put some tape on it. And you got your nice little deal. I invented this, by the way. <laughs> in my shop anyway and then you can go uh, all the way around your edges and put your nice bead of resin down and you want that really thick like peanut butter and then I can take this spreader that I made and go along that edge and that gives you a nice rolled edge for your fiberglass to roll up there because they don't like square corners so anywhere there's a square corner you need that stuff under here and back here I really put a lot because glass don't like to bend corners and then I'll fill these little dots with my super thick stuff too and then uh, put my surfacing coat on there and let that get tacky you let it get tacky not really dry but just where you can kind of touch it without it with it kind of sticking but not set up and then start putting your glass on there and uh, that's where we're at there so after I get this part done then I could pop this surface plane off and then I can do my center. But it won't be long. Uh, end of this week I'll be able to flip it over and we'll get to the bottom. But I had someone ask me about some other stuff we have, me and Dad have done. We built this GB R1 Super Sport from scratch. It was half scale. 13 foot wingspan. It had a 3W 240cc engine. And that thing was a monster. But we built the first one from wood, and I was scared to fly it. Now, I've never made a mold before, and everything I know about fiberglass I pretty much taught myself. And then, but I was scared to fly it. Man, I, it took us a year to build that thing. And uh, so well, that winter, we stripped her down, and I molded it up, and it turned out great. With uh, the plane weighed 30 pounds less than the wood one, and I actually flew it for three years before I sold it. Sold it to an old boy out of Tennessee, GNL Hobbies. He's still got my molding in production, as a matter of fact. And there's a Saab Draken. Me and Dad Scratch built that probably 15 years ago, back in the ducted fan days, before they had turbines, and we was going to mold it. And don't ask me why, we just never have. And then I got a V-52 hanging on the wall that's built and glassed. And... Uh, to scale it up, the nacelles would not be big enough for turbines, so we actually didn't make it big enough. 
but if there's someone out there that wants that thing that wants to go electric come get it fuselage is built bomb bay doors are made I uh, made that hat so you can actually load the bomb bays from the top and we got part of the cockpit done someone wants it come get it but you gotta get it flying if you quit working on it you gotta give it back that's the deal me and Butch made but anyway that's where we are and I will keep you guys informed and uh, we will see you in the shop